Hello guys, welcome to the next video on Qt tutorial for beginners. And in this video, we will see how we can use Q action class in Qt. So, what is Q action class? First of all, the Q action class provides an abstract user interface action that can be inserted into widgets. So, for example, you want to make a menu. So what is a menu? Menu is something like this. So you can see file and then you have some menu item in the menu, right? And then you also have the toolbar. Toolbar is something like this. You can see this welcome icon, add it or design or project or this kind of, uh, uh, you know, bar is called toolbar, right? Now, sometimes you want that uh, some actions should be present here also in the menu item and also in the toolbar, for example. And you are performing the same action by both uh, the bars, toolbar and menu bar, but uh, maybe you need to write the same code uh, two times. But Q action class provides uh, this abstract interface for you so that it can be used uh, in both the places and the menu and in the toolbar. So let me give in a, you an example. So I have created a sample project, which is a blank project. And I'm going to open a main window.ui file. And in here you can see by default, I have this main window class and you have the option for choosing the menu bar. So whenever you create a project with main window, then you have uh, automatically this menu bar here and also the toolbar here, right? So here you can uh, just uh, go here and type something in this space which says type here. So I'm going to type some menu item, for example, uh, uh, file and click enter. And then I can uh, choose some uh, menu item, for example, uh, new and press enter and then i can choose for example open and press enter and let's say i choose exit right and press enter here so this is how you can uh, you know add menu items to your uh, menu bar right now as soon as you uh, add these menu items you can see in this uh, little space here, there are some actions created whenever you create this menu items, right? So the action for new uh, is this action new and action for open is action open and action for exit is uh, action exit, right? Now what you can do here is you can also add it uh, the menu actions from here. So you can just uh, double click here and you can see the text for the menu, then the object name for the menu and then this is the tool tip. You can even uh, choose the icon here. So let's add some resources and let's uh, add some icon. So I already uh, have shown you how you can add the resources. So you go to your project and then right click on your project and then uh, go to add new and in here go to Qt, choose Qt resource file and then uh, click choose and then give the name of your uh, resource folder for example resource itself and then click next and we want to add it to our project so just click finish okay so this adds this resource folder here and then first of all we will add the prefix here prefix can be for example rec for example and then press enter and this is your uh, prefix and i want to add some uh, images here so i have already uh, some images in the project folder so when i uh, right click on any of the file here and i will uh, click show in explorer you can see here i have uh, created uh, this image folder which is created by me and I have some images here. So you can find some images online and uh, you know create this uh, folder and place your images there, right? So in here, I'm going to just add uh, those files. So I'm going to just say add files 
and I'm going to just go to my image folder and choose all these three files, right? Click OK and these files are added here, right? And then I'm going to go to my main window.ui and in here I can choose uh, the icon. So once again, I'm going to go to these actions and I will go here in the new and I will click this and choose resource and in the images I can choose uh, the icons here. So for new, new and click OK. So this icon is added. Once again for open also I'm going to add the icon. This one is the icon for open and then for exit. So let's choose the icon for exit which is this one. Okay. And now when you see them automatically these icons are added to your menu items right now the same actions you want in the toolbar also so this action class makes it really easy so what you can do is you can just uh, choose this new action and drag and drop in your toolbar here you can see red here and just uh, drop it here right so this this is the same uh, action which we can see here in the new right so second action which is for open and the third action which is for exit right now in order to uh, provide some code for the action what you can do you can just uh, right click on any action and then go to slot so just click go to slot here and by default it will select triggered so just choose this triggered slot and click ok and in here, for example, uh, new triggered, let's add first of all some message uh, class. So just add hash include Q message box. Okay, so just write Q message box so that we can use this uh, class. So just write Q message box and let's say we want information. So just choose information and then it takes three arguments first is this second is the title and the third is the message so i'm just going to say new here you can perform any message uh, or any uh, code here i'm just uh, going to show you the demo right so the third is the message right in the same way i can uh, go to open and go to its slot triggered and in here again I can just show the message open and in the third case which is exit I will go to the slot triggered and here I can just say Q application for example Q application and then I can just uh, quit the application by this right something like this okay so let's uh, run our app and let's see what happens so i'm going to just compile it and run it and when it will be built we are going to see what happens uh, when you uh, choose the toolbar items and menu bar items right so our project is almost running so you can see here i have this these menus new open exit so when i click new it shows me this message new and when I click this toolbar item also, it shows me the same uh, message, right? And when I click this uh, open uh, icon here, it shows me open. And from here also, from the menu bar also, it shows me the same, uh, uh, you know, message here, right? And when I click this uh, close, it's going to quit the application. So when I click this one, our application is closed, right? So in this way, you can use Q action class uh, in QT. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment, subscribe and bye for now.